Hi, welcome back to part two of shooting the Shukanu. Now since the first video I've uh, completely remade this, um, it kept having a few feeding issues and was prone to uh, jamming, so I completely redid the magazine and this time I put a carbon fibre prod on it to give us a bit more speed. In addition, I've also made a brand new rig and this is a double shooter. So when I rebuilt this, I came up with the idea could I have interchangeable prods? So what I did is made kind of a rig that just simply bolts on just with two screws. This was the first prod I made. I saw it from this picture. I have no idea if that's historically accurate or not. So it's a series of four bamboo slats lashed together. I'm trying to use the materials that would have been used for prods at the time. Having said that, I went for carbon fibre because I just know this will shoot a lot faster so hopefully we get a better uh, consistency. That said, I decided not to use this prod as uh, previous shooting with it. It's just, it's not really shooting very well at all. So I need to improve the prod bar. I'll probably add some, a couple more uh, slats in it. And I might refilm this for a part three and we'll see if we can improve it. Plus make it look a little bit more traditional. So as before on the first model in part one, I'll leave a link here at the end if you haven't seen that already. There is a peg which sets off the string. So to load it, single slash, on this magazine I can take up to ten shots. See the first start or bolt ready, and then as the mechanism goes forward, that snap is where it catches. Which pulls the string back. You can see the bolts sat ready, and then as it touches the peg. And shoots and then again repeat the action and the same with the double this time I've used a uh, U prod I made the double more traditional with the toggle The double can take up to 30 bolts in total, 15 each side, which I weigh down with some rebar just to stop them flinging out the top. So first I'm going to shoot the double at two targets as quick as I can. Now the single, same thing, speed shoot, two targets, close range. I've now moved 30 yards back and I'm sending some distant shots with the double first.
Okay, so quite a few short with the double. And as you notice with that, it does shoot in quite an arc, so I have to uh, aim a lot higher to get any distance on it. Out of 28 shots, only one hit. The single shoots a bit quicker with the uh, carbon fibre prod. So we've got four on here, one declutter off the top, I think. And then there was a, a few overshot back here. All quite close to go with that. In an ancient battlefield, you won't want to be standing here without a shield, that's for sure. So same target, same range, but this time I'm going to approach them slowly while shooting. So to test the uh, potential accuracy of uh, both crossbows, I've set another uh, short range target, it's about 8 to 9 paces. Got it locked in the vise, and we'll see what kind of uh, consistency we can get out of this. Because that is the trick with these, you have to shoot them from the hip, you cannot aim them uh, like a, a normal crossbow. And of course because they, they shoot in quite an arc, you, you're kind of aiming up quite high. Okay, first the double. I like an M1 Grand then. Okay. Oh, nice to get all hits on there. But as you can see, quite a spread pattern.
Well, that's a bit more impressive. So later on at the club, a good friend of mine uh, set up this fun little target with a floating ball. Now considering how inaccurate the shooker though is, watch this. <laughs> well, it's been fun making this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe to Wood Forge UK channel and we'll see you for part three. I'll think of something else to do. Please give a thumbs up and leave a comment if you like. See you next time.